I managed to not record any audio for this entire sort of electronic session. So you've got me in voiceover mode for this one. We've got a 16 to 1 analog MUX and that essentially will take a four input signal, binary signal, one input signal which is coming from the signal generator and it's going out to 16 different lines. I've added a load of wires to the MUX board so that I can experiment on it here and, and then I've connected it to a bodge board uh, which contains uh, both some LEDs to light up on the outputs from the multiplexer and uh, some dip switches on the input side for the binary selection of the channel for the output. Um, I've chosen yellow wires for the inputs to the MUX and red and white wires alternative for the LEDs. The blue wire here is the signal from the signal generator which is running, uh, I, I think it's quite high frequency, it's in the 10 kilohertz range. range. Um, it doesn't actually matter at this point, um, but it's a high enough frequency that the LED light appears to be permanently on. The red wire here has just disconnected itself from the board. Um, it seems that the multiplexer is getting its power from the oscillated signal uh, to operate. If I flip the first switch here, you can see that the LED switches from the yellow light to the blue light, and that's sort of indicating that the selection lines are working, or at least that selection line's working. I flip the next one along, um, and it then the LED changes to the, the next LED in line, um, the red LED. Uh, in any case, it seems that the selection lines are working to my satisfaction at this point. With all four of the dip switches put into the on position, uh, the, the bottom LED, the final LED, LED number 16 if you like, is, is illuminated um, and so we know that the selection lines are working. The, the issue now is of course that I, I want it to automatically switch between the LEDs rather than me having to flip switches to do it and to do that I've got these um, 74460s which are used a lot in clock circuits and stuff like that I believe um, and and so what my next step is going to be is to add a 4060 to the bodge board and wire that in so that the LEDs switch automatically. Of course the circuit didn't work um, so this is me messing around with the oscilloscope uh, trying to figure out why I'm not getting a signal. Looking at the circuit diagram for the 4060 um, we can see that there are a number of different resistors and capacitors that you need to put in and the instructions are here and I followed them but I still couldn't get it to work. It being an AliExpress uh, special 4060 um, I decided that the problem was probably the chip and so I made a bodge board for the bodge board using a surface mount 4060 as you can see here. This also didn't work which then made me scratch my head and think well I've obviously done something profoundly wrong here and I really really couldn't be bothered to figure out why at this stage I just wanted to see whether I could get a divided signal out of the 4060. So the alternative to this is to simply leave RTC and CTC disconnected altogether and stick a oscillating signal into RS, um, which is I think is the third from the bottom and then the fourth from the bottom wire uh, is, is the uh, enable pin essentially and that just needs to be dragged low. Once the circuit's been rewired, you can see on the, uh, the scope that the signals are working. However, 
in order to get the blinking light effect on the LEDs, the frequency is quite low. And so the changes on the scope are not obvious and you can't really see what it's doing. So if we turn the frequency up by a couple of orders of magnitude, we can then see that the divider is doing exactly what we want it to do with the, the yellow uh, line being the lowest significant bit and the green line being the highest significant bit. This is actually the output that I wanted to get. The next step then is to disconnect the dip switches from the inputs to the multiplexer and connect up the outputs of the divider, the 4060, to the inputs of the multiplexer. Well, it sort of works. I at this point spent a little bit of time swapping around the four yellow sort of selection line inputs to the multiplexer to get them in the correct order. Um, and then we can see that it is actually doing what I want it to do, notwithstanding that I've got one LED that's not working. To summarise then, the first thing we did is we connected up a 16 to 1 multiplexer to four selection dip switches, as it were, um, and then tested those to make sure that the appropriate LEDs lit up. Once that was proved to be working correctly, we replaced the dip switches with a 4060 divider on the same clock signal that we're putting in to the data pin on the on the MUX and then used four outputs from the 4060 to sequence the LEDs in the appropriate order. And I think that's about all I intend to do with this particular thing at the moment, although it might reappear at a later time. As an addendum, I did actually test the AliExpress Special 4060 and it works fine. So it's definitely me, probably my soldering.